Let me show you how to restore your old photos using AI. That is how you can remove those artifacts and glitches and graininess and also how you can bring color to your images. So the first thing you need to do is head over to this page called Open Art. And I have left a link to this page and to the models that I will use in the description of this video. But basically the idea here is simple. So you sign up, you have access to all these latest AI image generator and editor models with which you can rasterize your old photos. So now first and foremost, let's choose this photo here is an example image so it is an old photo it looks grainy it has all these little artifacts going on so now all we need to do is just drag and drop the image into this view and then once the image has loaded we need to choose the model or character and we can choose flux context max here on the right hand side and now that we have chosen the flux context max we just tell the AI what we want to do with it. So we tell the AI to remove the artifacts and glitches and colorize the photo. So you can give a very simple instruction like this and then just choose the number of images you want to create. So you can create between one and four versions of your restored photos. So for instance, let's just create two and let's hit create. And this will roughly take a minute or two for the AI to process. And here we go. So here are the two AI generated photos that restored the original image. And as you can see, these are quite incredible. Let me actually download these and do a side by side comparison. So here is the original photo and here is the AI version of it that is restored. And here's another one. And now the only subtle detail you might have paid attention to is the fact that it is not kind of directly editing this photo. So it's just creating like a new one based on this old one. And that's why you might lose some slight details in your photos. For instance, I tried this on a scenery image and the AI restored it perfectly otherwise, but there was one seagull flying in the image in the original one and that seagull was no longer there in the new photo because it was so far and the AI didn't pay attention to a small detail like that. So that's just something I wanted to mention, but now let's run a couple of more examples. So first and foremost, this Flux Context Max is just one of these AI image generator models. Of course, not all of these are good for rest restoring photos or editing photos in general, but there is another one that you might want to try, and that is called Nano Banana. This is the latest state-of-the-art AI image editor that Google just released. And once again, we'll give it a simple instruction like remove artifacts and glitches from the image and colorize it as well. And let's hit create on two images. And here are the two results. To be brutally honest, I think the two previous ones were actually better. These look like more like real photos, but these look more like paintings, if I'm honest. So in fact, um, the Flux Context Max was a better model for restoring images based on this simple test. But now let's run a couple more just to show you what it's like. So here is another super old and a bit grainy photo that I want to restore. So let's try the same trick. Um, let's drag and drop the image into the view and let's tell the AI to remove the artifacts and glitches and let's just hit create. And there we go. I mean, isn't that incredible? This looks super realistic and perhaps the only issue I see is that as I said before, the AI is not necessarily like directly editing this photo, so it's regenerating it. So here you can, for example, see that the hat and the mustache changes a bit in these two images. So it is not exactly like the original one, but we're close. And also, once again, you can choose to switch to another model. So for instance, we can do Flux Context Max, which proved to be the better one in this first attempt. So let's hit create and see what happens. And while the AI is creating these two photos, let me quickly talk about the pricing. So here you can see that the essential plan costs seven bucks per month if you do the annual subscription. And for that, you get 4,000 credits. And now if we go back here, if we choose one photo, for instance, with this Flux Context Max AI image restoration model, it says that it's going to spend 10 credits. So basically this means that for this $7 per month plan, you can create or edit 400 photos. For instance, if you have a catalog of old images, you can do up to 400 restorations 
with this AI model. And as I showed you before, there are some artifacts in some of these images. Some of them turn out to be not too photorealistic, while others do. You might want to run this a couple of times per image. So I would estimate that it takes like two to four attempts to get one successful output. So in that sense, you should expect to spend, for instance, 40 credits with this Flux Context Max model, which basically means that you will be able to create 100 images if you do four attempts on each image with $7 per month plan. But now let's go back to the results. So here was the original photo and here is the AI edited one with Flux Context Max AI restoration model. And one of the reasons why I love this platform is because they update this model section all time. So as you can see, we have a ton of different famous AI image generator and editor models for different purposes. And also it's not just that, we can also do video stuff. So you can also choose a bunch of these AI video generator models as well. This is the platform to go if you want to do anything related to AI art or AI image generation or AI video generation, editing, consistent character stuff or anything of that sort. So I highly recommend you signing up and um, you will find a 10% discount in the description of the video as well.